From a finance industry legend to a man the tabloids described as the most hated in New York, Bernie Madoff was convicted in 2009 of orchestrating the largest Ponzi scheme ever. It's virtually impossible to, to violate rules. His promise to clients of 11% returns each year simply too good to be true. Instead, investment money from new clients was paid as profits to established ones, all while eluding regulators for years. Don't forget also that the largest bank in the world, J.P. Morgan, paid $2 billion in fines because it turned a blind eye and assisted for decades uh, this Ponzi scheme. So it, it, this isn't just some rogue individual. This was at the heart of what, of course, became the 2008 uh, financial crisis. It's estimated the scheme cost his investors, individuals, and institutions nearly $65 billion. From celebrities like Hollywood director Steven Spielberg to charities like the foundation started by Nobel Prize winner Elie Wiesel, which lost $15 million. And there was a human cost as well. Madoff's oldest son Mark took his own life on the two-year anniversary of his father's arrest. He took advantage of seniors that he should have never have done, and his, his own family profited from what he did. Rest in peace. He didn't do the right thing, and I hurt a lot of people. Madoff had requested release from prison for medical reasons, but was refused. Bernie Madoff leaves behind no fortune, $170 billion in assets seized by the government. There's only his wife, Ruth, and what he described at sentencing as a legacy of shame. His name now synonymous with Wall Street greed. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York.